This video is presented by EA Creator Network. Hi guys, welcome back to Simproved. Fry speaking here, and today we are going to look at the new hidden objects, the debug objects from the upcoming Growing Together expansion kit. EA was so nice to give me a review code. We already looked at all of the build and buy stuff in a separate video, which I will link down below. And this time we are going to look at all the hidden objects that you wouldn't find in the build and buy catalog. And we will access that by opening the cheat panel. And I think we start with the hidden objects first. And it's BB dot show hidden objects, if I remember correctly. All right, and then we go into show all going together, and I think we have to put in debug. Just one. Just one. All right, starts really easy. All right, it's a potion. A potion that has the power to remove a family dynamic between two sims used with caution. Oh, that's great. I know there's like new family dynamics where people are close and not so close to each other in the in the family. And this apparently is to get rid of it or reset it so that you can redo it, which is cool. So this is one of the hidden objects. Usually there would be all of the collectibles. So there's nothing new to collect in Sansicoria. Yeah? Probably frogs and gems and stuff like that you can hear my husband laugh about his programming skills because he's home officing sometimes he does that <laughs> random stuff that happens here okay so not that many hidden objects okay let's see about the show live edit objects and we have more all right let's go into debug There we go. Okay. Way more stuff. All right. So this is still, yeah. Okay. We start here, I guess. So what do we have? So these are objects that your Sims either hold in their hand when playing with the cards here on the new gaming table. So these are like the little stones, I guess. Some of these objects will, once you've placed them, maybe disappear once you've loaded into the lot again or um downloaded it through the gallery so usually these this kind of stuff will not be there anyways this is probably some weird yeah i don't know what that is maybe it's floating a puzzle piece yeah these are all things that you know are so small i don't know why you would need that but yeah keep in mind that these may vanish i don't know which one does then we have a drinking bottle yeah some of these debug objects even have swatches. This one is empty. Then we have binoculars. Something that is empty. Is it floating? Oh yeah, it is. It is. Wow, it's something. I can't... Exp is it like... Um, the Sun Sequoia? Oh, I think this is from the Botanical Garden, the park. The exterior of the park <laughs> you can see how huge it is it's probably from the world creating the map you know so yeah these are like things you maybe wouldn't use then we have a pillow maybe there's pillow fights again and then we have of course as we always do in debug the houses that come with San Sequoia that they use to decorate the exterior here so we have that one of course that comes in different swatches and they all on this, like I already said in the other video, craftsman, American craftsman style. Nice. I would have thought that the E's are a little bit more protruding, but then again, I'm not American. Love how it looks like. Okay, cool. So you can try to rebuild them. They're actually quite solid looking. More of these. Oh, are these the ones that have the thing under them? Yeah. I've seen them over there and they are like on these mountains and I love that. I love how they look with the with the stilts. So yeah, it probably has different colors as well. I will just leave them there. They all have the stilts down there. These are almost the same, sorry, but a oh, white and beige. I'm sorry. How could I not realize? Yeah, quite boxy, but you know, I love I love the stilts. These are also quite big. I mean, 
these are maybe if you want to decorate your very huge lot and create like a town square stuff like that then there's more like these that are probably on stilts. we move them up yes they are oh the stilts are quite high to be honest so yeah how big is their footprint they have no footprint so maybe you can make it that you can put them on top of things and since we'll still be able to walk under it you know so that could be very interesting for builders to do a lot of debug builds and stuff like that so that's really cool and more of these stilts houses okay cool let's see this watch is here uh there's oh i have to put them out of the I have to put them out of the catalog apparently. Okay, now we have orange and white. Interesting. Another house. Oh, this one has a nice color theme. This one too. Looks cool. You know, there's lots of different cooks, nooks and crannies and stuff really like it then we have something that is maybe in the tree house or so it's a string of fairy lights it must be placed on a specific object yeah probably the tree house i guess i can't even place it i have mu on though oh in a little shop that looks very cute. Oh, the colors are cool. Nice. I don't like the sides of it here, and this is also kind of weird. But maybe this is like some of these houses look like. I don't know. Oh, we have a little slide. I can't put that anywhere either treehouse lights so yeah that's a treehouse and these are the treehouse lights oh you can put them probably later install them later or something and the treehouse bell <laughs> there's the potion all right already looked at that one another house the big warehouse or something oh, apartment house good good and this is also probably the treehouse pole. Okay, and then we go. Yeah, there we go. The trees. That is something I at least use, you know. So we have that tree, which is this one over here. That tree. And we have a pine. Then we have, oh, that yeah, I know. This is probably from the treehouse then, I think. And like a huge tree like that that is cute that's a good one but the thing is I don't know if they will vanish if you zoom in when you play in game mode because people won't see the sims that much you know and can maybe not interact and stuff so be aware of that so far all of the trees don't have any other swatches but yeah lots of these trees we have already seen in other packs debug maybe the colors change a little bit i think this one has a new color swatch but yeah usually these trees are some trees we already have in game maybe even built by but have like different swatches now a little bit low poly so they can put lots and lots of them around your houses then we have a planter and a round planter and i think i've seen both of these in other packs as well in debug oh wow what's that that's um what's it it's a museum <laughs> some sort of public building i guess recreation center it doesn't have any other swatches looks interesting though i really like how it looks like you can't even build something like that in the sims which angers me because you can't do something like this with a diagonal but okay hello hi okay there we go 
Then we have this again, like this anchor point thingy where you would tow your boat to, I think this is what it's supposed to be. A palm tree, I think I've seen this palm, debug palm tree a lot of times already. Some flowers, some grass, another house. This looks like an industrial warehouse kind of thing. It's the canning factory, yeah. I think we have a model like this as well in San Shuno and stuff like that. Very cool, very big. I don't know if you would ever put that in your own build, but okay, maybe you can. Another flower, so usually these flowers are... Oh, and the, oh, the tight umbrella is good. Oh, yes! They can't interact with the umbrellas anyway in game. At least these that I know of, they can click on them and view them like every other object. But this is cool, this is cool. Having these two states, that's exactly what you would need. This is definitely something people will use. This is why people watch these videos, I'm sorry. Um, then we have a very good looking pergola, I would call it, with like a metal roof this time. That is so cool. You could get married there. I hope that the footprint is basic to none so your sims can actually walk through it. So you can put like a wedding arch in here. Or just like a table and chairs and stuff. Oh, so cool. And on top on like your castle towers and stuff. Come on, guys. I know you will love this. Then, of course, the streetlight we already know. Another streetlight we, I think, already have. Uh, then shipping containers that we already know from Eco Lifestyle. No news watches here, but yeah, these are all stuff we already know from. I think this boat is also something we already have. In some of the debug. Then we have a power sip llama berry. Sip the power power sip. Okay, so this is basically one of the cans that they will drink. Ooh, another industrial thing. So that must be somewhere here in Sunset Korea. I haven't seen it yet. I've probably been in the quaintest, in the quaint, nice neighborhood of Sunset Korea. So that's more harbor stuff. Then, um, Again, a bridge, a yard. The yard is over here. See, I think this is almost the same. That one has also very different swatches. This one is the one that is over there. Um, I can see people use that. Maybe if you have island living, you can place them. You know, if you do like a harbor or something. I did that. I did like a yard club, and then I used these boats. Then we have the statue that you would have a normal build and buy in, I think, Vampires. And the thing that we have from Realm of Magic, a very, very sought after debug object that is. And uh, the same with the fountain. I think this is also the Realm of Magic fountain. New fishing signs. Do we have new fishes? Are there new fishes in Santa Cruz? And cinema! Oh, that looks so cool. What is airing? It has only one swatch. Yeah, it's kind of like a cinema. I don't get the roof here, but anyways, this one is definitely a cinema entrance. Interesting. Then we have fences. Usually we always get some sort of, f oh, wow, really big ones. And their poles. Interesting. Oh, these are cool. These are very good. Ha! For like a venue, for um, a concert or something. Or you want to build like a protest or something. Where people, the police would put something like that up. As if that would stop anyone. Anyways. Rowboat we already have. There's definitely a brown, brown, brown swatch that I've used for my Viking things where I covered up the motor part. Yes! More umbrellas. Give me more umbrellas. The umbrellas are great. <gasps> there are really more umbrellas! Yay! Oh, these are so good! Yes, these are really good. These are really good. People will use them. People will use them, for sure, because you can, you know, have like two open and one is closed and stuff 
Ah, cool. Okay, then we have another huge crane thing. I'm probably thinking, I mean, I don't use them that much. We have that in Equalize there as well, I'm not sure. The very blue one is, you know, it's very blue. What can I say? This one looks a little bit more realistic. Because the door at least is like brown and stuff. But yeah, it's very low res, you know, keep that in mind for um, debug stuff. Another rowboat. Okay, this time we have also different swatches. Cute. Stand under build. Yeah, I think. No. All right, but it's interesting nonetheless. Um, some grass. I think we have seen that one. That one I've seen as well. It's this. Um, is it from Hanford and Bagley from the Cottage Living? I've seen it. I, I can't remember. That one definitely wasn't Cottage Living. That gnome. Then we have a fire hydrant. Debug mailbox. We already know jungle gym. We already know that one is part of that one. Is there a cemetery here? Have I not like what what's happening? That one is also from from uh, this one is from vampires. This one is what was it? Is it base game? The swings? I'm not sure. Or was it growing together? Another set of flowers. No other swatch to that than the yellow one. Okay, yeah. Uh, again, these ones. I love the sales, don't get me wrong, but I hate how they're distributed. Do you know what I mean? What I would personally like is one something that has no attachments here. It's just one tri triangle and has one here. So you can put it next to the wall and shove it into the wall. That would be good. Or maybe something like this in like a normal rectangular way and not like this weird thing. Because that came with a toddler stuff pack that almost no one has. And since then I have been using that asset and like just maybe recoloring it. Another tree. I like that one. That's a nice, nice height. Like how, how big it is. It's good. Um, yeah, then the, the typical white. Oh yeah, there are even some that are actually painted. Okay. I think I've seen them. Where are they? I've seen these apartment houses. But yeah, apartment houses. What can I say? We have seen them already. Then a colorful apartment house in different colors. Blue, pink and beige. All right. Uh, then the typical pot with the thing in it. I think we have that in base game. Debug. If I say if you have that in base game, then it means debug. Um, that is an interesting looking piece of architecture. What is it? Top looks like, top kind of looks like, um, church, but has a garage under it. Oh, you can get in here as well. Okay. Interesting. Probably something. San Fran, I don't know, you know, like they have this whole Spanish revival kind of theme in California anyway, so maybe that's the thing. Um, then for your cyberpunk city build lots or whatever, we have different commercial signs. I will put them out here. They apparently don't have other swatches. Fishing, hiking or power walking. Um, for the bo botanical garden and I don't know quiz game show I don't know what this is supposed to be uh, but yeah good another tree I like these smaller trees they're good and then we have the grass we already know here's something I liked I would like I, you can build this in the sims why don't they let us build that a botanical garden I love that idea. And they are hammering upstairs. Ugh. Okay, there's the light house. Interesting build, to be honest. Is there no entry through the exterior of it? No. Is that the same here? No, that's a different one. We will probably get that one as well somewhere. 
uh, that one is interesting. It's um, like a boat fishery restaurant. A fish restaurant or something. It's over there. Do you see it? Yeah. Uh, another fence set. They're hammering. Oh, Jesus. Not now. Ooh. Fishing town statue, anchor statue. And other statue. Doesn't have another swatch. Okay, interesting. Then we have a boat. Another boat. Lots of boats here. I mean, we are on the coast with San Sequoia. So it makes sense that we have lots of debug stuff that is kind of boat related and harbor and stuff. I haven't looked around that much yet. Another fountain. We don't even have that in build by. Interesting. Where's that one? Then part of the pier, I'm just going to assume. Oh, this is nice. Probably is a sign for the splash pad or something like that. I really like that. And then we have, oh, this is very good. This is also what some people will use. We need some space, guys. I try to leave the things that I think people will actually use from debug. Uh, okay, I lost the pergola. So I think people will use this. They will use the umbrellas. Um, and the pergola, I don't know where it was now. There. This one. Okay, and then this one. <laughs> because I've seen it in the world now. I was like, <gasps> Hobbit? Oh, look how cute it is. Please tell me there's other swatches now, but it's so good looking. I don't know how, what, how I'm going to use it, but I'm definitely going to use it. Look how good that looks. I love it. I'm going to use it somehow. You watch me. And then this one I also liked. I've also seen in um, somewhere. It's funky. But I will probably use it in like a recreation center build or something. I like that one. Then we have um, ah, geez, um, a power box, you know, where like the power outlets are painted, of course, because we are in San Sequoia. Very nice. Of the one with the plants, of course. Oh, what is it? An old timey mailbox? Ooh. That's really nice looking. But some people have to tell me if it's really a mailbox or what, whatever it is. Is this a trampoline or is it also a fancy shade thing like this one? No one knows. Looks like a trampoline. It's an interesting construction, of course. But yeah, that one is meh. Meh. This one is nice. Meh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Another world building stuff. Oh, if you ever wanted <laughs> a bridge, um, I've got one for you. <laughs> I can't even zoom out that much. <coughs> Sorry. Still not. Um, <coughs> still not totally out of it. With my cold. Um, that one has also no swatches, this little house. Oh my god, they really keep on hammering now. Uh, anyways, another fountain. A topiary with a pelican on it. Why is that not in built by? Uh, a fountain thingy. Yeah, modern fountains. Very good, I guess. Oh, a small bridge. That's always good to use if it's like not that huge. That is also quite huge. But you know, like this, I think I'm gonna use stuff like that at one point. This is um, for the underground, I guess. They have some underground stations, you know, it kind of looks like where the, where the sims spawn. 
So I think I use, they use that. And then we have a flagpole, another light with some things on it, and then some whale bird signs and no bicycle, bicycle line and whale bird sign. Don't go on the, don't walk on the grass. Kids road or something, harbor, I don't know. Don't fish here, don't go there. Another pier, that's the one over there. Lights to tow your thingy on. Something with even, why is it so? Ah, it even has the, the cable on it, the, the, the cord. I don't know how to explain it. Nice. A, a sequoia tree, I think, is that? Like, the, it's called San Sequoia, and I think they talked about that this sequoia trees are pretty big. I haven't looked it up, honestly. But it's cute that there's, like, this tiny little plant... As a German, I have to think of Löwenzahn. Can someone remember? Uh, I like the texture here, honestly. Can't they give us something like that? I could see this being used for like a treehouse base, but the footprint is pretty big, so be aware of that. I don't know how high you have to make it that, uh, that you can reach it with your stairs or whatever. Another grass, a pill bottle or something. Heart, a baby, baby formula, I guess that, that is. Another planter box, so I think that's something people will use. <clears throat> no idea, a remote, I think it is. It's a remote. Something invisible. Then we have lots of food. We always have food in here. Because, you know, Sims have to hold it up and eat it. So um, I guess there's some food related to San Sequoia. And that would also mean there is new debug food. Then we have this. What is that? Maybe from the playground or something that I can hold on to. Another large piece of fence, a pier. I think this we all have already in... In base game this is a cute sign I think people will use that sign also these ones some are people built like on these huge lots like whole town squares and stuff and I think they will use these kinds of you know jeez okay <clears throat> Another hedge, something that is invisible. Uh, that's where you can probably put like some of the houses on that we have already looked at. What is that? Dirty dishes, dirty dishes, dirty dishes. And the light we already have in build mode, a fence, a very low poly bush or tree cap. Yeah. Mm -hmm something that is floating or in the oh there it is do you see it there on the left on the street it's a huge thing i don't know what it is but it's huge yeah it's a huge whatever it is do i have to put it up no it's something it's something this is the same oh these are the waves look the waves of something they use for the world building as well. Then we have the stones that we already know from other debug. Um, no swatch here, by the way, on the stones, guys. I will just put them out. You know them by now. If you are in debug at all, you know these shapes. These are different color, though. So be aware of that. And these, of course small footprint so very very good for cluttering and the public toilet again for a debug all right that's basically it guys we have done it so what i will uh, take away from that people will probably use this no, not this 
Of course, the trees and stuff people will use. I think some will do some fairy tale stuff with that. And this definitely like as a castle tower topper and stuff like that. I haven't tested this. We have to test this, how big the footprint is. So if your sim can really walk through it, the best case scenario. So you can really use it as like your pergola even at home. Um, I like this one. I think I'm going to use that with the splash pads and kind of see what I'm going to do with that and maybe like, you know, copy it, paste it somewhere. This is kind of cute if you just need like a really, really quick um, place to put your pelican topiary in there. Um, the umbrellas people will use and yeah, of course, I mean, we know the planters is kind of like and the, and the, and the stones. Stones get usually used. A lot. Some have large footprints. This one doesn't have a large footprint on one at all. This one also has a large footprint. So yeah, be aware of that, that Sims can't walk through it or so. So if you make them bigger and so on. You know, the drill with the debug. I also like this sign, but it's obviously some sort of welcome to our splash pad thingy. Or, you know, I also like this here with the, with the fish on it very nice all right so yeah that is the debug mode of growing together i hope you liked it i hope that you saw something that you like and that you know just write your suggestions in the comments down below because i think we are very few people here that know what the hell was going on in this video and why we are so excited about it <laughs> but yeah um yeah let me know what you plan to build with the debug stuff this kind of screams hobbit for me or some kind of fairy tale medieval fantasy builds i think i'm gonna use this on the roof um, this is also kind of fantasy, elven castle. Maybe I will use it as well on like an old manor. I don't know. Um, and the umbrellas are obvious, obvious choices as well. They are also the correct height and stuff. So yeah. Um, so yeah, there is definitely something new in here, but not so many new things. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so, so much for watching and <laughs> I will see you soon. Bye.